Hi and welcome legends. A trade that played out to perfection that I highlighted during my live stream last night. Let's go analyze the price of Bitcoin, go through some fundamental news and I would also like to share a nice little scalp trade to the downside that played out to the T that I highlighted to our Discord community this morning. Let's go check that out. Right, here you can see on our Legends Discord community, link down in the description for 25% discount if you'd like to join this community. But here I highlighted a trade and let me just play you this little clip over here and a trade that's now played out to perfection. So yeah, I mean, purely from a volume strategy perspective is that this is definitely a resistance zone. Okay, this is definitely a resistance zone because that's where the high volume candle started. So if we had to find momentum here, that could be a rejection area where you even come back to this trend and you reject. Okay, volume strategy. And then translating this back here into the price of Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah, you can see, yes, the high volume node that I've highlighted. Nice little volume over here. Okay, you come back, you retest the volume node. You don't want to see the highs taken over here. And your TP is coming back up and claiming this low once again, which you now can see we've literally just tapped this TP area. Another trade that played out to perfection. Right, and then also come and trade with me. Two of my favorite exchanges go down into the description. If you haven't watched yesterday's live stream last night, it was jam packed full of alpha. Go check it out. Right, go into the description, click on more. Okay, and let me just zoom in here for you guys. You will see two of my favorite exchanges. First two links down in the description. Bybit, where you benefit from a 20% fee reduction in your fees. And Mexi with the lowest fees. Also up to a $30,000 bonus for Bybit. $20,000 bonus for Mexi. And you only benefit from these deals by using my links down in the description. Go sign up right now and come trade with me. Right, let's jump into some fundamental news. First up. The third largest Bitcoin holder, Robinhood, just bought 700 Bitcoin, halving in 15 days. Scarcity intensifies. Okay, so quite bullish. You can see a lot of aggressive big players are aggressively buying up Bitcoin in preparation for the halving that is around the corner. Next up, countries launching new physically backed Bitcoin exchange traded products this year. The USA, England and Germany. The institutions are here. And I mean, insti with institutions comes great buying power. So perhaps any dip for now is still a massive buying opportunity. Next up, Louisiana has officially emerged as the 11th state to adopt a bill aimed at safeguarding the fundamental rights of Bitcoin users with an anonymous vote of 103 to 0. So absolutely no person vote, voted against this bill. No single member of the state house of representatives objected to the proposed bill. While guaranteeing the freedom to buy, sell and trade with Bitcoin, the law also supports fundamental processes such as mining and verification. Additionally, it emphasizes the importance of private custody to empowering individuals with the ability to control their other digital asset. So still bullish sentiment out in the market. Next up. Sometimes it's as simple and left curve as this. Don't fade it just because my trading line. Altcoins will run big, especially the moment regulatory gets established in the US and it will. Also, be ready for a quick potential fake out, similar to 2020. Right, basically what they're saying over here is alt season during 2017, when we tapped this trend, we had a nice little altcoin season to the upside. You know, sending those altcoins exploding into the air. 2021 the same. Will this time be different? We have just tapped this trend line. Definitely, you can still have a fake out to the upside for a nice little altcoin season to potentially start kicking in. Right, next up. Wouldn't be surprised to see a nasty fake out before the new trend. Yes, and I think everyone is tracking this triangle here at the moment. And always, I've seen this play out many, many times. Inside of most triangles like this, you either have a fake out to the upside for then the true breakout to the downside, or you have the fake out to the bottom for then the breakout to the top. Only time will tell how this is going to play out. But I do see some fake outs happening first before we see the true breakout to either the up or to the downside. But for for now, it looks like the momentum is favoring the upside. So perhaps a fake out to the downside will be in order. Next up, we are on a moon mission, Bitcoin Manga writes. So much short fuel still waiting to be ignited. We could see 80k very quickly once these are liquidated. Tick tock. Okay, and you can see the, the long liquidations are drying up. So perhaps, you know, upwards momentum is in order to still go and grab that liquidity between the $72,000 and $75,000 level. Right, next up. Altcoin daily writes, and for those of you that's been following my streams, I don't often like to talk about XRP, not one of my favorite altcoins, but I know there's a massive big community out there. Just in Ripple to launch United States dollar backed stablecoin on XRP Ledger aims to compete with USDT and USDC. Right, so some bullish news out there for XRP. 
let's go and analyze the price of Bitcoin here quick. Okay, looking at the price of Bitcoin over here, during my live stream yesterday, we had this nice little pumpy action here to the upside. Okay, the one level that I did make everyone aware of is to say that, well, what if this is a one, two, three year to the upside or even an A, B, C? And the C wave and the third wave have similar targets. When you take it from the, high, from the low to the high to the low, you guys will see that the 1.618 and also the all-time high level was tapped to perfection where we got the rejection here to the downside. Also, just looking at this structure over here, you can see, you know, without taking Fibonacci and Fib-based Fib trends into account, you can see that we have claimed the all-time highs and we bounced on this all-time high level many times, you know, bouncing, bouncing, not managing to hold the all-time high level. And then we broke down with high volume. And classic price action then tells you, well, you're typically going to come back for a retest, okay? Because you lost the level, you come back, you retest the scene of the crime, and then you get a rejection back to the downside. So, so far, this trade has played out to perfection. Right, what can we expect next for the price of Bitcoin? These are the current levels that I'm currently watching. So, let's just take the FIP year out the way zoom into this price action over here okay so the one scenario that i'm watching is well what if this is another abc to the downside okay where we have an a b c and the c wave is either complete where we've now made a double bottom then keep an eye on this trend for potential breakout to the upside where we could potentially come and claim this high again also this little volume note that we have over here the other levels that i'm watching is to say that well if this c wave is not complete yet to the downside the other thing that i'm watching is to say you take your trend based fib here from the high to the low to the high and here we have another 1.618 target that is potentially also like we had here an a b c where we hit the 1.618 this can also be an a b c where we hit the 1.618 probably front running this level over here where most traders will keep an sfp line over here and only to come down tap the 1.618 and then break the trend for momentum back to the upside okay so definitely an area over here that i will keep in mind if we do not sfp from this low over here from a bearish perspective all things are possible i mean we have to highlight always bearish and bullish case scenarios just going back here onto the 15 minute let's just zoom into this price action over here right here on the 15 minute time frame we also have to acknowledge that this momentum can continue here to the downside where you'll have an sfp line below this low and also an sfp line here okay well that's a little bit crooked but you guys get the idea where you potentially come down you grab the liquidity below these lows for then momentum back to the upside also bouncing on the higher time frame value area low of this entire range that we found ourselves in for then potentially momentum back to the upside and we'll just have to see how we then contend with this trend do we retest the scene of the crime for further continuation to the downside or do we break back getting acceptance back inside the trend for momentum back to the upside Okay, from a bullish perspective, I've already highlighted that we could potentially come and tap this 1.618 level again. So yes, still some downwards momentum for potentially break of this trend. So keep this trend in mind. But also, C wave targets is at the 1 to 1 ratio where we are currently. So we can form a double top over here and start gaining momentum back to the upside. Or fall further down between the 1.236 and the 1.382 where we could potentially see that reversal in confluence with a bounce on this trend for the breakout to the upside side okay right hope you've enjoyed the update if you are brand new to trading you don't know where to get started or how to get started please go check out this video for beginner traders on how to get started and get down with the basics until the next one just for now